For today's quiz, I've got a ramp and I have a piece of metal at the bottom. I also have a rectangular block. This metal keeps this block from sliding. A quiz today simply asks, at what angle does this block eventually topple over? In other words, roll off. Here's what your quiz looks like today. I'll hold that up. Feel free to pause. As always, mark your ex explanation to the best of your ability and list your level of competence. If you like what we're doing here at the Idealized Science Institute, be sure to comment below, like, and subscribe. Typical student responses often include this one. They'll say, well, when you're elevating this, as I have drawn here, you'll notice that if you look at the top of the block, the one that's elevated the most, the highest angle, is actually going to be higher than the others. I can show you that by holding this meter stick up right now. You can clearly see that more of that is higher than the original. Others will say that has nothing to do with it. It's got to be the center of mass. But how do we find the center of mass? Give your students a second to figure that out. Some of the students will ask for a straight edge or a ruler. Make sure you give it to them and let them draw on their page. See if they can get this. Some of the students recognize that they can use the symmetry of this object to find the center of mass. You can connect the diagonals and where the lines cross, that's going to be the center of mass. So now that they found that, now they need to figure out how does that help. In a previous video, we showed that uh, objects will topple when the center of mass goes over the base. We've now found the center of mass. We also know the base is going to be that little piece of metal. I have that drawn here in blue marker. Hopefully you can see that. Now all I need to do is draw where gravity is pulling, and that happens to be straight down. Let me do that quickly. You can see any time our center of gravity is pulling outside of our base, they will topple. So this is still within the base. This is within the base. This falls out. And of course, that one does too. And I could show you that very quickly. There's a little dot here. I simply used uh, a ruler and put a dot in the center. If you watch the other videos, you'll see that I had three holes here. You can do another methodology for finding the center of mass. But as I lift this up, you'll see as soon as that center point goes past or over that base, it topples over. Kind of neat. All right, that's your quiz for today. Thank you for watching another Idealized Science Institute video. We are a nonprofit organization. If you like what you've seen, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you want, leave a comment below. It's helpful to us. If you can financially support us, go to our website and hit the donate button. If you can't, simply by sharing these videos with other teachers and students in your life will be helpful. While at our website, you'll find that we have our Idealized Science Institute book that'll help you engage your students in dialogic discourse. There you'll also find we have a podcast where we break down educational research. We also have long form lessons. If you're a teacher, you can watch these and go in the very next day and enact these. Along with this, we also have many other resources, including more quick quizzes. So thank you for watching and we hope to see you in the next one.